Welcome back to the second hour of Hereticus and apparently our acolytes are going on a field trip to the Underhive. FIELD TRIP! Yes. And thus, uh, as I understood it, uh, that is the plan. Has anyone uh, informed him? <laughs> I was yeah. about to ask. <laughs> sure. We kind of want him with us. Mm-hmm. Well, he's probably doing running exercises. Not anymore. Probably. Cardio, that sort of stuff. Mm. But yes, he'd definitely be up for going on a field trip. Cool. So you go on a field trip down to the Underhive. So the Underhive in Hive Sabellus I do make sure, I should say, I do make sure to let... Um, to leave a message that you know where we are basically mm. so that if uh, if Trina comes looking then you know yeah she'll she'll know where to find you or at least yes something ish because the underhive yeah. hasn't really been well yeah yeah but at least she'll know we, we haven't just yeah. you know yeah. run off or something yeah she'll know you're down there and you'll be you'll be back in regular society at, at some point mm-hmm Okay, so you venture down into the Underhive, and the Underhive is a result of a millennia of buildings on top of buildings, on top of buildings, on top of buildings, on top of new buildings, and then on top of those buildings. Basically, um, layer upon layer upon layer of of uh, of the hive being um, built over and forgotten, and um, much of it is actually comprised of uh, old abandoned ruined temples and churches dedicated to to the god emperor himself yes um and mighty uh, statues of course all of them uh, in in some state of ruin um but that is what the underhive is 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 mainly comprised of and that is where untold billions or at least millions um survive yes i won't call it live because most of they them exist merely exist and survive um yes. so what's your game plan here you you've you've entered into the underhive the the dirty cramped um noisy underhive i assume that we've been sensible enough to go there with our weapons and armor and equipment in the uh, underhive yes. is a dangerous place that is a good assumption i think um, I forgot it again. Push to what? Talk? No, I forgot that I needed two, you know, one-handed guns. Oh, oh, okay. Well, well that's, that's time, uh, for that. I mean, time for that. Yeah. I mean, you, you, if you if you need to what, order them, or you need to get the skill. I have the skill. Oh, well, I mean, you, I mean, you could have, I mean, you could have ordered them over the course of the week that we've been on, i uh, been inactive. Yeah, yeah but I also okay. have bolter pistol thingy. So I kind of need to find that, but later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm pretty pretty sure that the um, that the nice um, what's his face uh, quartermaster can procure you a couple of bolter pistols. He yeah, can. but later. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah, there's no question he absolutely can. So. Yeah. Um, okay. But yes, you're now standing somewhere in the Underhive. Uh, I imagine that uh, Medea is acting as guide at the moment, um, guiding you guys through the labyrinth that is the Underhive. Um, I'm scouting for vantage points. So, <laughs> so the thing about the Underhive is vantage points isn't really a thing because there are very few open areas for you to get a vantage point off. Um, I don't like this place. No. Sniping <laughs> will usually happen from, from um, not from a high point, but, you know, horizontally. Yes, absolutely. You can still find good, you know, hiding spots and so on. There are probably quite a lot of those, but yes. I'm scouting for hiding spots. All right. Well, you, you, you absolutely do find them. And you also notice that from any given location there are multiple exit points yay so that's good I, at least 
If you I know. actually think this is the first time they meet the little flock of rock rats. Yes, it is. It is. So is is that where you're going? Is that to the uh, the rock rats? First, she kind of needs to know where Kelsa were when she uh, disappeared. Well, she she would already know this based on her first um, when she first found out about this and did her initial questioning, and uh, she has a, a a location for that uh, where she was last seen, at least. Yes. Yes. And also, if they hear it directly for them, then they get the same version Medea got, and not just from her mouth. Yes. Basically, instead of getting, he said, and then she said it on, and then, you know, yeah. one yeah. feather becomes five hens, right? Yes, yes. Absolutely. And, um... So how do you introduce your children? Well, basically, they probably come in, and then there are four children hiding away, because, fuck this shit, there's a huge-ass person in a fucking power armor. Hide for your life. Mm-hmm. And a boy trying to pretend that he is not exactly that scared, but he is looking like he could possibly pee his pants because there's a man in a, or there's a woman in a fucking power armor. Yes. Until they actually see Medea, and then it's, oh my god, thank god. <laughs> so he's trying to be brave, really. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. Medea has told him that he had to. Yeah. Okay. So. So, there is a. Tall, scrawny boy who looks like he can be no more than 15. A little girl who looks around to be around 6 or 7. Two boys, obviously twins. And a little girl who's still a baby. Yes. And mm. I imagine that... You know, uh, very small toddler of one year old. I imagine that Kiandra is, is taking care of the toddler. Um, or maybe the toddler is just... Uh, well, size. they are basically all taking care. Mm. You know, yeah. hold her while I go do this. Mm. And play with her and teach her how to walk and shit like that. Right. Right. So, I imagine we find these rug rats in some... In one of these... In in the cavern where the huge ass head of a statue that Medea slept in. Right, and this 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 head of a statue uh, has long since been excavated and Warren's uh, dug into it, and so there's it's basically an entire sect sector in its own right, really. Uh, More or less. Behind. This 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 statue's head, immense statue. So yeah, you meet the rock rats, Did and they they anything? absolutely look terrified. Even though Medea is there, they are <laughs> she is standing alongside a, a woman in power armor and uh, Akalon and Tim. So yeah, I think I think at this point uh, uh, Jessica just looks sidelong at one of the others and says, and says um, "I did I I have to say." Saint Sixtus Gregor did admittedly at one point say that the entire um, <clears throat> that the entire Imperium should it rested within his heart but I wasn't actually aware that so many of them rested within his head as well well perhaps we should try and Make sure they don't aren't afraid of us. I think that's a little. We are a little late for that. To be perfectly honest with you, I think they're terrified. But um, it's worth well, trying. Well, to... Medea just uh, waved dismissively and waved the kids out. No reason to be scared. So I imagine then that they they do eventually come out, but it's 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 a process for them. Um, yeah. Um, because. Lady in power armor. Yeah. yeah. They yes. have been used to hiding whenever they saw something that official. Yes. They probably don't know it's a power armor per se. They don't know the term, but they, they just absolutely... know it's big and dangerous. And yes. yeah. Oh no. It's way it's too gonna shiny matter to be to run away. Of anything good. Yeah. Yep. Something. Yeah. 
Plus, so, she's also very, very obviously heavily armed. Yes. Yeah, but so is Medea. Mm-hmm. She is carrying a fucking grenade launcher. So is is Sister Francesca carrying her flamer? The heavy one. Oh God! <laughs> so these these children have all seen flamers before. Yeah, um, she's used, she's carrying her bolter and her heavy flamer for this particular <laughs> mission. Yes. Uh, right. I think Ac- Acolon will, um, will will lift his flame. Well, he'll, he'll not lift his flame. He'll he will take the strap of his flamer, lift it over his shoulder, and then lower the weapon to the floor to the ground. Mm-hmm. A show of good faith, and then looks pointedly at Francesca as if to say. Please do the same. Oh, he is putting the weapons to the ground? His weapon, yes. Oh. Uh, right. Well, when, when that happens, uh, Francesca does take a look at it and goes like, oh, right, of course. It, it's clear that it's just not something that she'd considered for, you know, it's it's a bit, she doesn't, she yeah. really doesn't seem to understand children. Despite having one, been, one, been one herself once. Well... She's been in the Scola Progenium. Yes, of course. You're, n- you're small adults in that organization. You're not really a child. So, you know, she doesn't seem to fully comprehend the whole thing, although she does clearly seem troubled by the presence of a one-year-old in, in a place like this. Well, Medea, to Medea, she just, you know, daily... It's uh, it's normal to her. Yeah, of course, but it's. But she does pick the child up, you know, like she's used to, and carries it like a mother would actually carry their child. Yeah, I'm. um, Medea, uh, this is hardly. This is hardly an an environment uh, best suited for small children. Where else would she be? Well, I realize that that's probably she's not here by her own choice, obviously, but that's not. Mm, the no. Same as, it's not the she same were dumped same. in a dumpster somewhere. Is there possibly an. Well, alright. Not as if I know <laughs> of a place where we can take these children. If you're thinking about an orphanage as some such, there are very, very few who would ever take anyone from the Underhive. Well, I realize that. But uh, they might be slightly more willing to do so if it came with the recommendation of someone in this kind of armor. That's all I'm saying. But the hunt anyway, we in a position this is... where we could basically order them to take the children. We could if we had reason to believe that they were, let's call it, wait a second, wait, 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 wait a second. Um, you, you did say that one of the, those who were taken was your... My oldest daughter, do- yes. Your oldest, I'll, I'm not quite sure I'm quite with that, but yes, okay, your, 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 your adopted daughter. Uh, absolutely. Um, you did mention that, and consequently, these children have seen something, right? They've seen what has, what happened. That is why I brought you here, so you could hear it directly from them. Well, in that case, they might be, if, providing that this turns out to be, let's call it, of, of interest to the Inquisition. Leaving them here would be problematic. They're very vulnerable. But yep. we will take we will see that as it so we'll take care of that as it comes relevant. Uh, okay, so I'll just butt in for a moment, uh yes. Akalon. Uh remove the parenthesis. That was just because if I rolled it as just slash GM roll then Roll twenty says, "Oh, there's an error. Ah, oh, you can't type that. Please try it again." Dun dun dun. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. It worked. Okay, so please do carry on your your conversation. Anyway, um, 
by all means let us hear what happened. This is this is troublesome. But Well, I have thought about what else to do. But I've always come up empty. But now the oldest are gone, who is usually the one helping them feed the smaller ones. So, yeah. yeah. So, while you two are talking, uh, the, the rock rats are just looking back and forth between you as if, as if spectating a tennis match or something to that effect. Yep. Um, she is holding the smallest somewhat, on her arm. Somewhat wide-eyed because, holy crap, Medea is talking with this power-armored behemoth of a woman. Uh, that's pretty cool. And she ain't and even she being really... murdered! Yeah. Nope, and, and the behemoth of a woman is even wearing a helmet, so, you know, yes. it's she's totally impersonal. Yes. <laughs> mm. So, yeah. Um, they're just looking at you guys really now yeah. that they've they've right. they've gone they've they've gone past the the initial fear yes. and yes. Well, um, Francesca just you know looks at them and goes. Um, in that case, what happened? Let us hear it. What what happened with your friend when she was taken? What what about these men in black robes? Everything you saw, please. So the uh, the eldest boy, Agor, steps steps forth and puffs up his chest. Um, it, it's not because all that convincing. Because he's a big boy now. He is not all that convincing, but at least he tries. Um, oh, he tries. Uh, yeah, and and he says, "Well, so they 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 just I we just I I was sleeping, and." <sighs> Keandra's the one who, who she saw one of them and she told me and then the uh, the the, you know, the seven year old girl Keandra yeah, yeah. uh, steps forth and interrupt basically <laughs> interrupts him and says yeah so they were and she she indicates a she she points at at um at Sister Francesca and says they were roughly they they were her size and they were they were they were really big and 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 looked really strong. I don't know if if they were though, but but they looked strong. And Wait, how how big were they? She says, and then she indicates uh, Adeptus Astartes' height because we had black cloak people up there. You did have <clears throat> black cloak people, but uh, she she not not quite that high. Um, All right, but they they. <sighs> One of them carried one one of those, she says, and points to uh, Sister Francesca's bolter. Hey. Mm. And so are any, of, are any of you carrying any kind of inquisitorial insignia? Yes. Yep. Uh, Francesca I think all of us are. Yeah. She carries uh, hers and her, uh, you know, the the um, that that bead uh, chain that she carries around her waist. Hmm? Always has the eye hanging from it. Okay. Uh, it's, well, it's fairly fairly common for for sisters of battle to have that. It's it. it Keandra just stares at the the eye at the the inquisitorial insignia. That Sister Francesca, well, and the rest of you really are, are carrying. Um. And Aklon notices, holds his holds his up between his hands, and says, "Did they bear this symbol?" The one I saw did. See, oh, well, that confirms something. It certainly does. It certainly does. It's um, worrying, obviously, but I suppose this is something that we shall need to talk to. We will need to investigate this back at the Tricorn, because if it is the Inquisition involved in this, then, then as I said before, it could, for all we know, be another Inquisitor's um, uh, uh, acolytes. We... we, we we simply cannot overstep our bounds here. It's 
you know, we, we don't know the reasons why they might have done this in that case. No. No. So I, I do suggest that this is something that needs to be looked into back at the back at Inquisition the headquarters, back at the Tricorn for 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 the time being. Um but I am interested in something. Ha had anything unusual happened for a while for your, you know, your your friend? She says, and she looks at the at the children. Had she gone someplace that she had never been before? Had she met someone that was, you know, new people that you didn't know, of, you know, be beforehand recently? It's it's very important. Even the smallest thing could be important here. So they don't. Uh, none of them say anything. But Kiandra looks at at Medea. Mm hmm. What is it, Kiandra? <sighs> I I don't know if I should say. You probably should. She she looks over at, at Sister Francesca and, and she You're not in trouble. You're not in trouble. I'm 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 not one of the bad ones. Said the woman who yes. had a very, uh, had yes. a very big hand in five million people. Again, Akalon Akalon's <laughs> one of Akalon's mouth twitches. <laughs> Medea just nods. It doesn't it didn't touch her at all. Not to me either. Mm. Well, when what? Mm. there was was this one time we were some some Albas, you 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 know Albas, right, Medea, the, the bully. Yeah. He he was he was he caught Kiandra and he was he. he he was supposed to to do stuff to her. You mean Kelsa, was... right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I, I was yep, just uh, yep, wondering yep, if yep. she were talking about herself no, no, in no, third no, person. No, no, she's talking about uh, Kelsa. Yeah, he was he was supposed to some some rite of passage or something. He was supposed to 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 kill her, and he he'd cornered her. And she was she was really scared. She was really she was screaming. And then she 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 just she wouldn't stop screaming and it just became louder and louder and louder. And yeah. then he just he, he started bleeding from his yeah. eyes, yeah. nose, ears. It came Francesca out everywhere. Nods. Francesca starts nodding that it yeah. all makes a lot more sense now. And then he yes. exploded. Wait, he exploded? Hmm. Yes. Yes. She's a psycho. Uh, She's a psycho. Oh. And that's oh. why she, this is this is some. The, the, she's on the black ships. I did suspect. There is a chance that she. Well. She says and looks at Medea and then at the children. The likelihood that she will ever return to Scintilla is so small that it barely bears mentioning. Mm. Medea's face goes hard for a while and then she nodded. Yeah. If she's been taken and she's a psyker, she'll either end up as Akalon here. Yes. She just is to Akalon. Akalon wave. But she will probably <laughs> never return. Exactly. So at, at this, I think, Kiandra, uh, you see her chin quivering. Um, and the others just, just look at, at each other, really. Um, and then Kiandra does basically what Medea did. She 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 puts on a hard hard uh, a hard face and she looks at at Egor, the uh, the young boy who's who's the de facto uh, provider now that uh, Kelsa is missing. 
Yeah. And she 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 nods <coughs> at him, and he nods at her, and and she says, "Oh, oh, okay." But you did say something that was very interesting, that I would like to know a little bit more about, if I'm if it's okay that I ask. Because you said that this bully that exploded, mm -hmm. that he was supposed to kill her in some kind of rite of passage or something. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. It's pretty normal down here by the gangs. I imagine that it is. I would like to look into it nonetheless. And and uh, she she looks at the children again, and then she sort of gestures for the others, the other acolytes, to you know please step away from the others for a second from the children for a moment with her because she's you know she wants to to speak to them about something yeah something that should not be heard by everyone uh so yeah do people come along or sure come All along right. what yeah she I've, she's pulling you guys aside away yes. from the children yes Oh, right. Well, then she hands over the baby to Ego. Yes. Good. Sure. She, she says, um, listen, um, the problem here is, as far as I'm concerned, at least, is that while you say it's normal in these parts, We've also just dealt with an exceptionally bloody uh, problem upstairs. And while this may simply be normal underhive behavior, I'm not saying that it isn't. I really want us to at least look into whether this is... I really want us to look into whether these these people are... are um, what is it called? Um... Under the influence of the of these uh, these forces that we've been dealing with before, we were dealing with people willing to you know commit blood sacrifices up in the middle hive. Who's to say it's not something similar that's taken root down here? I just want to check it. Hmm. Hmm. And quite frankly, while I know that the gangs are on their home turf, we have Medea with us. This is her home turf as well. And the gangs know to fear me. The gangs know to fear you. And I'm fairly sure that they will fear this, she says, and pats the uh, heavy flamer. Yeah, they're pretty used to red-clad people coming down here, burning everything down. Exactly. So, on um, the other side's end, there are still a lot of people because they know how to hide. They know how to hide. You know how to find them, I'm pretty sure. My point is, at least, that we, we should, in my opinion, at least, we should check this. It, it may be nothing. It, it may very easily be nothing. In fact, I, I think there's a much greater chance that it is nothing than it is something. But we cannot risk it being something. Mm. Right. One question, though. Mm. Yes. If it is something. Yes. And we kind of have to burn the entire place down. Can I at least remove the rock rats? Of course. Thank I you. I don't think there should be any question. I mean, they're in this case, they're a valuable source of information. Yes. <laughs> she nods. And I will make sure to get them out of there, even if I have to carry them myself. Oh, they can move on their own. They're quick. They're probably faster than you'll ever be. I mean, I think they have to be. Akalon. Yep. Akalon. I have trained them, Will. Akalon taps the side of his head and says, "I could move them all at once, fairly quickly." I think uh, <clears throat> Tim motions that he. Will... Yeah. Well, you're a cheater, Akalon. That uh, yeah. we're being watched. Bye. So, Tim, <clears throat> um, you this this isn't a you don't spot any particular kind of uh, 
you're you you don't spot any individual surveilling you, but it's it's one of those hunches, those uh, hairs on the back of your neck thing. Um, it's a feeling more than anything. That you're it's talking. a feeling. I definitely trust his feelings because you know. Yes. Well, Medea lifts her brows. With this many people, you're always being watched. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. Not necessarily. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure that anybody down here is going to watch us specifically because we don't. Well, apart from you, Medea, but the rest of us don't look like we fit in here. But I don't look like I fit in anymore, anyway. Uh, that's true, at least to an extent. But you move like the locals, and you you behave in a certain way like they do. So you you you're not you know. I I hope you know what I mean. My point is, we need to. Um. We need to take it seriously when he says he's being when he has a feeling that we're being watched. I I trust. Uh, I trust. Uh, um, Tim's intuition in this sort of situation. He's, of course. He's... If you want, I can go and make rounds. Yes, please do. Anything I should be aware of, Medea? I don't think you have to worry too much, but if a group moves in too close, kind of like a... I don't know if you've seen one of those... Um mangled cats walking around. If they start looking like a predator, you should start looking worried. Mm. They won't come at you one-on-one -on -one because you look like you're actually capable of fighting, but you will be what they call a fat pig. Well, I don't think I look that fat. Yeah, that's not the point. You look well-fed, you probably have something they can use. I would... I reckon I do. Perhaps then... Two you shouldn't walk go. alone, at least. Yeah, perhaps. I'm, I'm absolutely useless at being stealthy, uh, for obvious reasons. Um, Medea, could you... Well, I know uh, the place. I'm probably also the most conspicuous, so the chance, chances are that they're looking, well, at me and at Akalon, because, you know, Psyker and Power Armor. And, yeah, I, I would definitely say that if Medea and, and Tim, if you could go and scout the surroundings. Mm. Alright. Okay. So, that's your plan is to have Tim and Medea do, do a bit of scouting yes. before you do anything else. Yes. Alright. I'm going to need some awareness tests from you guys. Yeah, do you guys want uh, stealth tests? Uh, sure, sure, why not? Let's see those as well. <clears throat> Which one do you so... want first? Uh, both, really, and <clears throat> we'll take it from there. When it's, and when it's, it's, of course, both seeing and hearing, right? Yes. So that's plus 10 to a Yep. That means plus 30. Mm-hmm. And that's on perception. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I should really... Oh, I have heightened sense of sight. I guess that would work then. Yes, I helps. absolutely. Hey, look at that. I'm a perceptive bitch. Is this Tim thing? Target, Target zero? zero? Why is that zero? That's odd. Very that odd. odd. I can see it. It's, it. It has included my bonuses and... Oh, that, yes. well, I clicked perception and put in the plus 30. Okay. You clicked awareness directly. That's never really worked for us for some reason. Really? Yeah. Huh. And did you also want the silent moves? Because then I can test that one. Yes, please do. Um, boom, boom. And let me just check something. I don't suppose we're moving in a crowd. Well, you're in the underhive. You're always moving through a crowd. 
In that case, yep. my enemies take minus 20 to, to spotting me because I'm so utterly unremarkable. Okay. But I would like to re-roll that one. Makes sense. I'm also accustomed to crowds. But that just means I can move unobscured or unobstructedly through it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. So agility! So silent move did work. Yeah, I have to real roll. Yeah, very weird. Oh, you do have I'm gonna real roll. Blah, 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 re roll. Blah. Rail <laughs> yes, I think. Railroad. I was say, that's not really your call, is it? <laughs> it's not your call. Nope. 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 All the nope. I'm not allowed to walk silently. Nice. We keep we keep relying on Madea to be able to blend into a crowd, but she's just shut not up. <laughs> So, okay, so the thing is, you move through the warrens of the Underhive, uh, through these ruined temples and churches and statues and heads and all sorts of weird structures. And um, you're trying to see if if you can, if you can pinpoint the uh the the person who's who's uh, following you or watching you uh and as mid or rather sister Francesca so rightly said a lot of people are are watching you but that's really not the sense that tim uh, that made tim uh, concerned he's he's absolutely certain that someone is watching you um yeah. and in a far more direct way yes and purposeful way than the uh, the crowd they as a are whole. Scouting us basically. Yes. yes. And as you move through the warrens, through the 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 crowds of of underhivers, um, you do spot a an individual, and the the um, the way you 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 notice him is that he kind of. Uh, Pops up on occasion on the same route you guys are taking. Um, you mm. don't you don't see him all the time, but he does pop up, and and that's that's a red flag for you, Tim, at least, mm -hmm. and for Medea at least uh, as well. Um, so stealth wise or silent move wise, um, you are being somewhat stealthy, and. Um, yeah, I am at least. You are at least. Medea less so, but these uh, silent moves are usually uh, opposed tests. Um, which means that even even with her rather poor role, she can still succeed uh, depending on the, the adversary's roles. And um, it doesn't seem like you've... The, the individual that's following you doesn't seem to have noticed that you've noticed him. That's good. Um, so, so yeah. Um, Medea, did you see? Yep. In that case, let's see if we can follow our follower. Um, Medea, you recognize a red racer when you see one. Oh wait, what? Red Racer. One of the uh, a gang member from the same gang, Albus, well, used to be a prospect for the the guy who exploded. Um, ah. Well, he's from the Red Racer. The same bastards gang who Alba tried to get into. What are they known for? Being brutal. I thought that applied to everyone down here. Well, they more so. Huh. Normally, gang members have a tendency to have truces now and then. The Red Racers don't. Why don't you make yourself visible and keep walking while I find a good spot to make a pretty little hole in this guy's head, then? Or do you think we want to interrogate him? Mm, I think we need to interrogate him. Can we shoot his legs out so he can't run? Of course. Perfect. Right. 
in that case, uh, Tim discreetly breaks off from Medea to find a good, well, I can't say vantage point, but a good hiding spot sure. where he would be able to see this guy uh, and get a, at least a decently clear shot. Okay. I don't know what it's called in English, but in Skutakal. It's a trench. trench. It's a trench. A trench. Yes. And he's hoping Medea will make it obvious where she is so the guy can follow her. Yeah. She will look like she's trying to be, you know, discreet and not being discreet. So he will spot her and try to follow her. What I'm going to need from you, from you then is a bluff. Yippee. <laughs> you can do it. Right, because I'm so good at it. You are Maybe. so bluffy. Except it's not cold bluff, is it? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, Isn't it the uh, deceiver? Yeah, that's the yes. one. That's the one. I'm gonna try to deceive him. Yes, please. Deceive me. Mm, maybe I should try it again. <laughs> well. Not much better, at least. Let's see. Let's That's see. twice now you've had to use the fake point. Ah, come on, I know! Oh. I'm blaming the system, not you. So, what oh happened? Oh my god! I'm also going to need a, a, a silent move from, from Tim in this yes. situation. I figured you would. Because you've. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So what happens is that Tim breaks off and and mo heads in a, in a different direction, and um, he needs to 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 keep an eye on this this guy because Tim doesn't know the uh, the lay of the land and he of isn't course. he 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 doesn't really have uh, the means to navigate properly. So he, so he's using this guy as his his focal point. Um. Medea tries to, to get his attention and, and keep his eyes on her. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. As soon as, as Tim breaks off from her and, and moves in a, in a different direction, so does the fellow. So uh, he starts following he, Tim? He, he's more interested oh. in, in, in seeing where Tim is than where Medea is. In that and, uh, case, we both have communication devices, don't yes, we? Yes, you do. You've acquired such devices, yes. Assuming then that I spot this, um, Tim will, will communicate to Medea that she needs to loop around and follow the guy because he followed Tim instead. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, so your silent move was better than his his awareness. So he 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 is he isn't able to, to keep an eye on you. Um so you Ooh. are you are able to, to do something about this. Um he's lost sight of you. Perfect. So the question is Tim, what do you do? Well, was it me or Medea he had lost sight? It, it was of? you, it was you. He, because his attention uh, turned to you when you broke off from from Medea. So his attention was on you. He just can't spot you. In that case, I'm and still going. And Medea were told. Uh, you were still told to to loop around and basically. Ah, so okay, we okay, him. yes. Okay. Uh, yes, yes. Tim will continue walking for a while and then find somewhere he can disappear into, and hopefully the guy will walk past him. Hmm. And then he can be shot in the leg. Aww. I'm That's so nice, I know. Totally nice. So, Toads, Toads, you know. So, what you need to do then is you need to roll me a concealment test. I'm decent at that. Let's see if I can actually do it. Yes. Oh, you absolutely can. Critical. Let's see if he can roll a one or something. He well, that's what I rolled. Basically. No, he least. could. Nope. So, so Medea, you loop around. You, 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 you. It's so you can move into something. Uh, like a. Well, she's not gonna hide. No, 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 no. 
at this point that's not even necessary because his focus is is on finding Tim. Um and Tim you you successfully find some place to hide and you 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 think it's a good position because there are a lot of people coming through here and he's very likely to go this this way as well um in his attempt to find you. Um at least that's what you think. Um as mm. it turns out you're right. He does he does mm -hmm. move past you and he doesn't see you. Well Ain't that just grand. Yes. Sweep the leg, Johnny. In that case I want to shoot him in the leg. Preferably um, the kneecap so he won't be able to walk. So how if far away does <laughs> yeah. So how far away does he get before you take the shot? Um far enough away that that uh, I'm not, you know, right next to him, but mm. not so far away that he can actually limp away while I get up there. Okay. Still that it's 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 a there's a lot of people here and um the these wa these warrants aren't known for their long straight hallways uh and corridors. So mm. um so we're we're going to need a shot from you. Um of course. Let me just look at all my lovely talents. Yes. And I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Are you using a hotshot? Let's see. Oh, if you can remove the leg. Hotshot was the one that did a lot of damage and had a lot of penetration, yeah? Uh, yes. Had, uh, some penetration, and you roll twice for your damage. And take the higher of the two. Uh, is he armored in any way? Uh, no, certainly not his his leg. Then I will probably just use an overcharged shot for plus one damage. Okay, that makes sense. Unless anyone objects. No, I kind of wanted I'm... to see the leg disappear in a I... mist it's... of blood. Yeah. It's still might, and if you shoot the leg off like that, he's dead anyway. Yeah, so right. I don't want him to bleed out. He will die uh, from shock or from bleeding out. This is a matter of giving him enough of a wound that he's either slowed down or incapacitated. Yeah, now, cut his kneecap. So I take a half action to aim and then I shoot him. Okay. Let's see, that's a plus 10, yeah? Yes. And because the... Uh, I, I know I said it's it, it's just tough situation because of the the crowd and and the uh and so on but you you've ba basically set up near to ideal situation mm. for you so i'll give you another plus 10 for it nice cool 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 let's see if i can do this you better barely That's but a hit. Again. yes well i just needed a hit now for some damage and a heart shot was plus one damage. Nine. Okay. So Nine damage. To so you you uh, with your long lash you shoot at his his uh, his kneecap or something, um, mm -hmm. and you hit and he, he you can you can see more than anything that he 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 screams in pain uh the, the noise from the crowd is simply too great for you to to make out the scream but he does uh he does go down to to his other his good knee and holds uh, his now ruined knee with with both hands and and clearly in pain and then gets intercepted by a very angry mummy Oh, that's when Medea shows up, yes. He's gonna wish he was never born. <laughs> what does she do? Don't kill him until we talk to him. No, she just walks up to him, lifts him up by the scruff of his neck, looks him directly in the eyes so he knows that he's in trouble, and just goes, You chose the wrong girl for him to chase. And starts dragging him off to Francesca. <laughs> okay. he, She's good at asking questions. So uh, the the man 
doesn't come along without a fight, without a struggle. He, but his 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 knee really is is what. Yeah, she's gonna yank his knee every time he yeah. fights. Yeah, and you could also just put a gun to his head. <laughs> nah, too much effort. It, is it, is it, is it, not as case. much fun as actually prodding his knee. I think. Uh, yeah. I mean, if he gets uh, bad enough, just just level a kick at his good kneecap and break that. But nah, we can do that later if he doesn't want to answer. So speaking of answering, you guys return to where Sister Francesca and Akalon are. What have you been doing in the meantime? Guarding the kids, probably. Guarding the kids, okay. Yes. Okay. Well, then the others return. With a wounded man. With a wounded man. What were we Who the kids probably recognize. They do. At least his at least his colors of maybe not him personally, but you know. His no. colors, yes, the colors of his clothing and also the uh, the the red races he is embedded into his skin. Right. Um, right. And this is probably where the grown ups will realize that the children are just as fierce as Medea. So uh, I think Francesca when she sees this Cretan will go, so who is this? The guy who followed us. Interesting. He is from the gang that uh, Alba was a part of. Or wanted oh. to be a part of. See. Well, put him down. She unceremoniously drops him. Not really caring that he can't actually, you know, support himself on the knee. Hmm. He ups in pain and, and goes down to his good knee. Oh, yeah. shut up. Francesca uh, walks over to him and puts a an armored boot on his chest and pushes him back. Well, he falls and on then, his back. And then she puts the boot on his chest. Ooh. <laughs> so he... And then she what? He looks absolutely terrified. Mm-hmm. And then, just for good measure, and just to make sure that she has his complete and absolutely fucking lutely undivided attention, she flicks that little, you know, the little nozzle flame on the heavy flamer, the one that, you know, the, that goes right underneath the main, uh, the, the main barrel. Yeah, the pilot light. Yes, the ex thank you, the pilot light, precisely. She, she just flicks that on. And then she looks at him barely bending her neck to look down at him, and she says, Who are you? What is your name? Why did you observe us? And what interest does your gang have in these children? And I will warn you, if you lie, I will know, and I don't like liars. And it's a, it's at this point that Agor, the uh, the oldest boy of the Rock Rats, uh, runs past Sister Francesca and starts wailing on this guy. Starts kicking, biting, scratching, hitting uh, until someone yeah. stops him. Medea does what she always does when they go over the edge and goes, Agor, no. It, it 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 takes a few of those to get him to stop because well he does know that if he does then he will get hit over the ne head yeah but but th this is one of the guys who've been terrorizing yeah. his uh, him for been us. making life miserable for him yes. so yeah it makes absolute sense yeah well it's also very obvious for them that Medea doesn't care that he's actually hidden the man no 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 she morally cares that he needs to be able to talk and he exactly. does say exactly. that that if you keep doing that he won't be able to tell us anything and we might never know what happened I yes. think that that's what really makes him stop is is those words. So, and if you want to, you can take his life afterwards. He doesn't say anything, but it's Medea knows at least that that has registered, and he considers it his kill now. Uh he just oh <laughs> this is the other right. ferocious. <laughs> they Clearly. have to be. 
Yeah, I'm not arguing that. I'm thinking that at some point this this boy is going to make an outstanding Imperial Guardsman. Yep. My thought exactly. And then she smiles and pats his head. He lo- he looks up at at, at Sister Francesca. Um, it's clear that the initial fear he had of her has has vanished somewhat at least. And mm-hmm. he he asks Imperial, "What now?" The soldier. Uh, he looks over at the end and, and asks, "What's a soldier?" <laughs> you know, the people I've been talking you to you about when I've come down. Oh. Among yeah, those bad people. If you do really well, then maybe the Inquisition will want you, and you can do some real work. So while while you're talking to Agor, this yes. Cretan, this ganger, he, he gets up to to his one good knee again and spits out a glob of. Blood. I would say that uh, that would be difficult, seeing as he's still oh, got a foot on oh, his oh, chest. Oh, that's true. That's true. He doesn't really. Then he just spits that glob of blood on onto the floor mm-hmm. and. Um. Uh, and then looks at Sister Francesca because t- even after all the, the 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 boys done to him, Sister Francesca holds the flamer. So yeah, yeah, she's she's yeah. definitely the that probably, was ouch, but yeah. she yeah. is more ouch. I, yeah. I would say that she's just outright scary. Yeah, it's the undivided attention thing. Yeah, exactly. So she looks back to him and says, "Talk." What 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 is it you want to know? Your name. I want to know who you are more precisely. I also want to know what interest you have in these children. They call me Irgnasher. That's just and that's just for starters. Okay, Irgnasher. Yes. All right. Because Won't I crush ears, that. you know. Yes. Yes. I guessed as much from that name. Yes. And what is your interest in the children? I have no interest in the children. All right. None. Good. Then why did one of your prospects get sent off to kill one of them? Uh, they had to kill someone. Same. She was no, the first didn't. one we saw, so... No, they didn't, her. but then that's neither here nor there. The uh, My point right now is... Uh, you do realize that you're in a world of trouble, right? I'm, I'm just, you know, want to make absolutely sure that you know how much trouble you're in. Um, I'm probably gonna die. Yes. Yes. Now, the question is whether you want it to be quick and easy, or very slow and very, very painful. I would prefer if it's quick and easy. That's good. And you'll cooperate. The, um, recently there was a group here, black clad people. Yeah, I heard about that. Yes. How many did they take? How about the Emperor's Ball should I know? Hmm. You're a blasphemer on top of things. Yes, I go on at this point, um, turns to the to look down at the cre- at the at the Cretan and activates his own pilot light. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but they are notes to the kids. Yeah, don't talk bad of the of the Emperor. And um Your gang. Yeah. Yeah. How many are you? He spits another glob of blood onto the floor and says hey, I don't know I don't count them you know but I'd say somewhere between 50 to 100,000 50 to 100,000 but yeah you know this isn't true there are no gangs in the uh, in, in the underhive that big well she uh, just looks at him then she points at uh, Akala. You know what he is? Akala, at this point, um, as she says that, he does pull back his hood to reveal the pipes and the balding head. If you uh, don't start telling the truth, we'll have him rummage around in your head. 
and you will go out just as messily as Alba did. His eyes go a bit wide, and, and he, he shifts his attention just for a brief moment from Sister Francesca to, to Akalon and says, can, 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 can he do that? Akalon nods. Do that and, he can do that and worse. That's uh, if he's nice to you. Yeah. Okay. Akalon gr grins. It, it's more like 50. 50. Okay. And then Francesca Many nods, leans, that's more Francesca, right. leans, Francesca leans over, you know, just slightly forward and says, No, then you are not 50. You are a light morning workout. He he looks at Sister Francesca, and it's clear to Sister Francesca that he absolutely does not understand what it is she's saying. But Medea doesn't either. She looks what? <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I, 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 I don't get it. No. It means that the remaining 49 of you are also going to die. You'll be the one who gets the easy way out. Cool. I just want to make sure that you understand, as you depart this world, that it is a really, really, really stupid idea to break Imperial law. And then she just, you know, she stretches back up, and then she looks to the boy and says, Oh, he was supposed to be your kill, right? Have at it. So, I mean, Medea hands him one of her, her knives. What were you about to say, Akalon? No, it's all right. Is that he, he was going to? He was going to. If, since he was promised a quick clean death, Akalon automatically assumed something and reached into his into his um, coat for a la for his las pistol because that a shot to the head with that would probably kill him quickly and cleanly. But yeah. if Medea has a knife, that's cl he's clearly going to go for that anyway. So he might yeah. as well just leave it. And, and basically, it's more uh, personal. Yeah. Francesca, Francesca also looks at Akalon and says, I said he would get the easy way out. That's as compared to his companions. I mean, that would mean that we have to be work really hard to make to, to kill them when it wouldn't be that do they deserve that much effort. And as Akalon says that, <laughs> you guys hear the uh, the the first um, squelch. <laughs> the first squelch and the first um, <laughs> knife <laughs> penetrating flesh, and uh, yes. so yeah, we won't go into detail, but it's it's but it's not pretty. We can cut a break on that image. I, yes, I think at the yeah. just just a little note before the, hmm? after he's done with that, Medea will just look at him and just go, "Well, my first one is here." <laughs> and on that, we'll take our final break for the evening. Yes.